Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Opening Valley. In this episode we're continuing with the scientists and when we left off it was Wednesday afternoon out of a four day rotation so we'll be playing it until Friday morning. So it's love day today and we were just sort of deciding how to celebrate the holiday. Um, I have since changed some mods around so when I did load the game back up everyone had reset so I've just got everybody doing something. So we've got uh, Apollo and Cassidy just out here playing chess, they both need and want some skills for work and logic is one of them. Um, we've got Hubert on the phone to Leo McGregor because he wants a friend for work. We've got Heather just playing some SXX because she wanted to and um, doesn't want much else useful. And we've got Alfred just sort of attending to his needs at the moment. What I think we're going to do is send Cassidy and Apollo on a date. Um, Cassidy wants to go to a community lot. Unfortunately, none of them want to go on a date anymore. Uh, they did last time, they've all re-rolled, but it doesn't matter, it's love day, so we get to force them to do love day things. Um, so my initial thought was, oh well, they're playing chess, it's you know a nice day, maybe they could just take this to the park. But then thinking, if we're gonna get them married tomorrow, which was the initial plan, why aren't they at work? Oh no. So I've just realised actually that in them all resetting because of mod swapping around, it actually means they're back home and not at work. They were at work, so that's kind of annoying. And they're probably going to get in trouble for it later too. Because it was Heather and Alfred that sort of had the day available. And the rest of the guys were supposed to be at work. But what I could do is um, reset the time back to the morning. And then once the people that should be at work are at work, then change the time back to one o'clock in the afternoon. So it took some fiddling, but I have eventually managed to get it to how it's it was supposed to be um, and got the other guys to work and then set the time back to where it was so hopefully everything's all right now they're just having a little bit of fun together here um but i think we're gonna get them out of the house you know we're just gonna get them out of the house go on a date because heather obviously wants to start looking elsewhere but her options are kind of limited at the moment and she wants to meet someone new so I think if they spend some time yeah, together at a community lot but she will have that wandering eye seeing if she can meet anyone else that she might be interested in. They are kind of hungry but that's fine we'll, we'll work that out into a date. I'm gonna have them go into a lot first let's get a taxi oh well i don't know how far things are i don't know yeah they're pretty much in walking distance everywhere actually so um let's just clear these things up i'm thinking about getting them why where is the archway gone ah it's because i put the bin there hmm maybe if i put that on like an omsp maybe uh, try that and see if the same thing might just happen again, I don't know. But um yeah, let's uh let's walk somewhere. I'm not oh the baby, what am I thinking? Yeah. There's a baby to look after, but um, Alfred is home at three. So, not Alfred, Hubert is home at three. So, we'll just wait until then, I guess. Um, 
I don't know, what kind of food do they have? Maybe we could eat and then go out. Alfred's going to see to his daughter. Oh, she's on the floor. That's good. Uh, there's a couple of things to eat in here. It just put her in the crib. Okay, nice. Um, didn't realise she'd race out on the floor as well. <laughs> Oh, he's there. <laughs> Wondered where the carpal was. Okay, Hubert's home now. Um, and I might get him actually to... He needs a cooking skill. So I'm going to have him serve some lunch up and then they've got some more in. Probably more grilled cheese. And then with these two will be in this, we can head on out. Oh great, he got that cooking skill point. So he just needs that friend, so after lunch um, I'll get him to call up Leo. You just go wait for him there, Heather, while he has a tinkle. And where are we gonna go? The swimming pool or the park? Let's go with the swimming pool. Okay, looks like Heather's about to... Oh, no. Oh my god, they're determined to relax in the hot tub. No, please. <laughs> Treat this guy like you were going to before you were... Aww. Oh. Alfred wants to go study with Heather. I think he's going to have quite the letdown. Okay, Heather wants to go on a date. So please ask him. And then Alfred will have courage to ask her to go study. And we'll see what she says. She has she's romancing with a commitment issues trait, so basically a big fact now, unless a miracle happens, um, is is the gist of that. So let's just do some of these initial uh, date things. Oh well, yeah, this is already not going well. Some jokes and playing and tickling and whatever else. And then, um, you know, once it gets into a romantic year. Here we go. We're on to something now. Now it's a good day, so it seems like a good time to ask. Pose to go study. Oh, oh dear. That'll set them back a little bit, but he's not angry, so I think he would still sort of accept Heather's advances. Um. Huh? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, the pool. Oh, should Oh, as well. I'm thinking, oh, and this guy. I think a town is probably all the way to go. Did you greet him? Yeah, okay. So apparently we're going in the hot tub. We can initiate some things in here. Oh, she's on a period. Right, we both want to woohoo, and I don't want to hog up too much time because obviously there's Alfred and Cassie to think about as well. Oh my god. Ma'am? Where is your body? What could be causing that? I don't. I 
don't have any. What on earth could be wrong? Weird. I don't know how that happened without any CC, but... Uh, Heather's having to change a tampon. And Alfred's just gonna get a drink because he's hungry and ignore all these people and him to greet him. Um, and then honestly I think maybe we should just head home because he's really hungry. Um, they want to woohoo and it's getting late so sort of someone else's turn now I think. So, great day despite a rejection. Kind of awkward. But um, oh no, it got interrupted by her cramps. Honestly, when I get a cramp, I also have to stop everything I was doing as well. Okay, so they were out for about four hours, so we've just got uh, Hubert to entertain, keep us entertained, till Caste and Alfred Apollo. Sorry. <laughs> get back from my... Oh, here they are. He wants to learn how to make spaghetti. She wants to go on a date. I really wish they could go and not have to wait for them. Both of them have no, like, career aspirations at the moment. So, hobbies. Hobbies. What are your hobbies? Consult the spreadsheet. So since Cassidy's hobby is music and dance, I'm just going to have her watch the music and dance channel so she can kind of discover that for a sale. Apollo's is tinkering, but there's not really like a fun activity we can do with that at the moment. But I think for now, since he wants to make a Pomodoro, he's just going to cook some. He's just going to be prepared and make a bunch of it. But yeah, just, just to have that in, because um, I don't really know what else to do with them. They're just kind of waiting right now. Um, the baby needs some help, though. Who would be the most maternal? Apollo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have him sort the baby out. You're going to come and call up Leo. You're going to change to dance station. We're just going to get this food out, but don't prepare it. Go call up Leo. Right. Get the change, cuddle her. Now can you? Yeah, they do have enough food for a bottle. Okay, now let's just go and put it back. Resume Kuken. They're not far from a friendship, Hubert and Leo, so that'll be nice. They seem kind of similar in ways, very serious, driven people. And it's not long now till they're back on their date. I reckon just put that away as it is. Um, and then go and give that battle rope to her like you want, that's nice. Oh my god, I guess Hubert likes Leo more than Leo likes Hubert. Want to talk to Cassidy? Okay. And play with them? Oh, and these guys are home. Okay. Do I look, look in the lob or the make out? To be honest, Heather doesn't strike me as a very loving person. She's very playful, very outgoing, um, you know, not serious, very grouchy. I think it should be more about the flings than the love, so I don't really like that lifetime aspiration for her. I think maybe first dates or uh, woohoo would be better than the loves. Yeah, I don't think you should really pursue serious things.
I'm now realizing I think there's more setup to be done per like game file to set up the 50 new lifetime wishes and the selector properly. Um, I just kind of copied it over from my other file, but I think there's some more like installation steps that I'll have to go and revisit for this hood um, to get it set up. So um, I guess I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to come and get these guys something to eat. And then these two I can go on a date. Maybe ask him here before you like re-roll the want. Um, and then we'll go. I think they need to buy like, some wedding outfits. So, okay, they had that spaghetti. It was very useful. I'll have to take him to that. We asked him. No. Let's just walk to a large drive before I like lose track of things but go to the shopping plaza. I know you were just there. Um, but yeah, you need to get yourself a wedding dress and a tux. So, where else would we possibly go? How are you still not friends with him? Oh. His uh, short-term relationship with Leo is 79, and it's still, they're still not friends. Damn, Leo. I'm cold. Okay, we're here. Where are you going? Oh. That's the uh, phone thing they feel they need to walk to. I see. Kind of hungry as well, so I guess they'll just have a... Another didn't date, it'll be like, um, I like deja vu. But, oh uh, well, it doesn't matter. Mm. What else do you do in a small town? Mm. Is it really mm. Well, I didn't like a dirty joke. Oh, yeah. We've got Thomas McGregor and Esperanza Lotus here. Um, this. We're going too well at entertaining each other. There we go. Right, I think we've bought enough time now to have dinner. If you uh, go and sit down for something to eat too early, then you'll just end up running out of time for you to get your food. I... What are you doing? Oh my god. She was about to help herself. Um, yeah, if you sit down right away for some to eat, the day will just be over. And I did forget to make those changes I wanted to. Whilst it's quite a nice setting up here, I was going to change this kind of bar area to like um, sofas or something so that they wouldn't have to walk all the way over here. Bucket Hatway is coming. Mm, they're both pretty hungry. We should go for that lobster. Yeah, go on. Just go for it. Let's see you around. Night before the wedding. Let's do some caressing ham and some toasting before we wait. And a blow kiss. Build time. Oh, okay. They just got off. Food absolutely thrown at them. Can you eat Asta, please? Okay. So, we've got a fair bit of time. They both need the bathroom, so let's do that. Then go buy some clothes. And then uh, carry on being all romantic and that. I wonder whether to buy them some other everyday clothes. I can't, no, I have to be loyal. 
I should get the job outfit stopping it here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And they just wouldn't change into a different colour of lab clothes to go to work. But yeah. It's half past two in the morning. Car oh Christ, time just flies when you having fun. Not like an early night before you went in. So I don't know what your formal wear is currently, but I would bet it's not good enough. You've got that grey shirt on there. Or oh, maybe the red, like you. <laughs> Everything looks so unserious with his hair anyway. Yeah, let's go. Oh, maybe that one. It's not very wedding either, though, is it? Yeah, let's go this one. SD likes blue, so I think I'm going to go for this one that's got like a hint of blue in it. Right, let's just have a make out and go home. Christ, it's half past three. Oh my god, stop trying to woo woo. I need to change the cooldown and the uh, risky odds because, yes, I checked in Veronaville, it is. Uh, ten percent that I have it to, not five. So. Right, please go home. Go home. So they were out for over six hours. I think I'm gonna have to call this if it gets nine. Say right, that's ridiculous. Leo is stone cold bitch, apparently. Um. These guys are pretty tired. They've got the date going on, so that's just a woohoo in bed, I'm fall asleep. Yeah, no, she's gonna try and nap on the sassy, so right. Uh where is my adjuster? Word settings, glove default time multiplier three. So then that makes it the the automatically like need do -woo, woo once every three days so it should be about months around that um each sim is looking for a woohoo interaction but yeah one is way too much so and also the default risk game you wanna change I can never remember which number it is. I think the food cost is the one we look at. Yeah, so it's ten percent now, but she's on a period, so I don't think there's any chance. Right, I'm sorry you weren't able to make that friend. You, but you really gave it your best shot. Who this? We'll try again tomorrow. Maybe just watch some cooking channel since you uh you want to gain another skill. You don't need another skill, but you want to. So. <laughs> Think I'm gonna get him open in the day now. I don't know whether I should unlock that now because he like tried. Maybe he should try again. Like roll it again before he wants to try again. Like, yeah, let him change his mind on it. And he wants that cleaning skill again. He's kind of hungry still though, so let's get some supper. You're not supposed to be watching me on the channel, sorry. You're so hungry, yeah, and that Pomodoro was with. Oh, that's. I renamed that Pomodoro. Yeah, it's just spaghetti in the normal game, isn't it? And <laughs> I just decided to make it more specific. Uh, let's just have a sandwich, I guess. Maybe you can do the same. Then everyone can go to bed at a reasonable hour. Apart from the bedding room. Excellent. And that's for you. Yeah. 
she fears getting engaged to him. What are you doing? Why are you relaxing? Did I press the wrong thing? Maybe you had a earache cramp or something. Oh. Right, yeah, this is raw. Ah, these lunatics are finally coming back. We don't really have any date related ones and it's a dream day, so let's just end it. And um get them to bed. I recently got one of Nopki's newer mods that tones down the need buff that they get after dates. So they do still get a little bit of an energy and fun boost and things, but um they're like hunger and whatever else it was, bladder and random things uh, don't go up anymore. But yeah, let's just get you crazy kids to bed. You can shower in the morning. Nobody got promoted or anything, so they're still off. Oh. But we are going to wait until 3 when everybody comes home so that they can celebrate. Oh, the baby's screaming. Ooh. And then I think I'm just going to shove their energy down so that they do get back in bed. And then just shove it back up. Okay, so that's the end of Wednesday. We celebrated Love Day, and now um, some of them are going to go off to work, and then we're going to have a wedding. So, Hubert's got work in now, but his needs are down there, so I'm not going to wake him up. When do these guys start? No. So they've got about an hour now. She usually needs comfort to stay in bed. He should probably get some breakfast. And he's going to the carpool. Oh, and Apollo's up with his bouquet. Nice. Oh, Heather's up. What happened? Why did you wear her? I wasted some pancakes now, haven't you? Could you please get changed for one thing and then order some groceries? Okay, Cassidy is up again and so showered and such. Um, there's no breakfasty things for breakfast. Are you gonna have to make something? Your ones are totally uninspiring. It's just a case of waiting until your wedding. I'm just gonna see what he does, just leave him to it. Clean up, that's a brilliant idea. I might hire a maid. Just cause. Oh, okay, he's gonna see the baby. That's great. Okay, you're done. So, I don't think she's feeling particularly generous, so just make yourself some breakfast. Mmm. Mm, yes, that's a lazy We got bills, 221 in bills. Okay, um, put her in here. And I think I want to hire a maid because they just can't live like this. Okay, now I'm in a woo -woo. Yeah, they didn't do it yesterday, so the maid's gonna get a shot. Okay, yeah, she took it to the bathroom now, that's good. Everybody's sleeping through it, that's good. Okay, 
They're getting ready for lunch. Yeah, they really are. Um, I always feel bad, like, forcing people to make food, but you gotta eat. And omelets is a good one. I guess that's like a breakfast as well. I modded that so that it's omelets are available at yeah, breakfast and lunch time. I don't love that soon it's part of like a bigger project of just uh just overfall a hole in the food. Um you know how much hunger certain dishes uh fulfill and how long it takes to eat and all kinds of things. Why don't you actually go and plan your out? Look at me remembering. Um, and then we will make some wedding preparations. You can, uh... Oh no, Alfred's gonna be home late. Well, that sucks. What's wrong with the baby? Diaper. Uh, so who is home then? Just Hubert and Heather. Oh, they don't have a bathtub. I'm gonna get him a bathtub because they have room for one. Look at all these puddles. I feel bad like cheating the puddles away, but I'm trying to put a bath. Heather needs a bubble bath. Okay. Apollo's all kitted out now. Let's let's buy some things for the wedding. Where should we have it? I don't think there's gonna be that many guests. Let me see actually who they would invite. So that's a nobody and um Juliet. So, yeah, we don't need many chairs. We need one, two, three, four chairs. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's fine. It's him that wants the wedding party. I think it will satisfy if Cassidy throws it. If not, I'll just make it satisfy because she has the one friend to invite, so... Yeah... I think... <laughs> so... Who's the best cook? Apollo, you need to make your own wedding meal, I'm afraid. What are you doing? Nothing, so... Perfect. <laughs> um, What's the best thing you can do? Probably a prawn curry. Or a spaghetti bolognese. Oh, pork chops. Oh, what did I just press? Grilled cheese sandwiches. Yep, that's not what I meant to press. Pork chops. So, Hubert's attending to the child. You're cooking. You're sun and wave. I don't care what you do. You're having a bath. No, she d she needs a dive changing. Is what she needs. Now what are you doing? There you go. Maid can't function because of Heather. She's giving up. Alright. Casty, can you get that please? It's Julian. Nice, you're about to get invited to a wedding. Excellent. Or maybe just hold on to it before it gives bad. Is everybody? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the party. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Because we're, we're throwing a party. One guest. All right. Yay. Oh, and this is Alfred. Perfect. Oh, he kind of needs. Uh, needs a minute though. What do you? doing Apollo making some some more right okay 
Heather actually fed a child. That was nice of you. Right, and it didn't. It, it didn't fulfill all those wildest dreams. Okay. Can we get everybody into you or formal and get this party happening? Please. Um let's get people sitting. I'm gonna make Juliet selectable. Oh, it's getting late. Oh, quickly then. Oh, just just pretend you don't need that, please. Just I like, interact. God's sake. Sit down. <laughs> oh, you hurry up. Right, this is it. This is it. This is it. Come on, I want a, a thumbnail. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be dark. Let's get married. Hopefully, he will catch up in time. <laughs> is, it, is it happening? Is it going to happen? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Oh, somebody's walked off. That's rude. Uh, would you change your name? Do I? Am I doing name changes? I don't really like. Cassidy Cassini. Cassidy Cassini. Oh, I don't belong. Oh, it did the default. That's fine. It's made my mind up for me. Excuse me. Can you? Nobody's. Nobody's allowed to be having a period right now. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get some some nice pictures here. Okay. Yeah, everybody's just giving up. All right, that's fine. We sorted. Hello? You can serve your food now. Serve, and then I'm I'm sorry, Heather. You can go and do what you need to do. I'm I'm sorry about that. And you, and you. Oh, she's just like yes. I'm gonna stand this way and clap about it. You never watched it? Oh, I forgot to make them watch. Oh no. God damn it. Why did I get such a big table? Okay, every everybody. Oh, he did. just just sit, just just sit, please. Come and enjoy it, the bride. Wait. Oh my God! I thought you were going for this food. God damn it, car. You can be on to like something. It's a real Fraser. I didn't even try. Oh, they want to go on holiday. Actually, I could just wait. Hmm, I don't know if I want to get into those kinds of. And he wants a baby. I don't know if I want to do vacations. I find them draining. And the max is lots of pretty bad. I've like I've adapted to my makeovers with lots of CC now. I don't really want to go on holiday with them. Let, let me know what you think. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing vacations or if you also find them kind of boring and repetitive. I think I'm gonna unlock it. Um, definitely gonna lock in there. Have a baby one for him. No, that's exciting. Um, you know, 
should dance with your bride is what you should do. Have a slow dance. Oh, no. I think it now. What are you doing, Anna? You should just listen. <laughs> Um, why don't you and Alpha just go woohoo if that's what you want to do? Yeah, let's just just go and woohoo. Hubert, you go and try and You'll be like, hey Leo, my sister's just got married. Will you be my friend now? Um, she wants to. Rank somebody. Oh, no hands. I couldn't see you. I'm sorry. Oh, you can cut the cake. Always, always a bubble when I want to take a picture. I know you can uh, do a cheat to turn it off, but I love it twice. Okay. Yeah, anybody's welcome. Apparently, just sometime when you decide to join in. Oh. At least the. Uh, well, this guy's got a nice tux on. At least. So he got their relationship all the way up to 100 and Leo's still not having it. That is brutal. Why don't you... No, you know what, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, so you're just asleep already. So I'm just turn the music, they're just like, you know, all this, this part is over. Nice, well done. Excellent. Right, before the day ticks over, let's return this stuff. There's your plate to clean up. Now let's get rid of all of this. I just rented it for the day. There you go. There's your money back. Um. Oh my god, Alfred, why are you so hungry all the time? Have some more cake then. Oh no, don't come. Don't come. Don't come. Uh, you get some more. Uh, try, try not to go to bed just yet, please. Hmm. Yeah, that cake doesn't well, fill them up very I much at all. Oh well. Just wait here. Are you gonna, are you gonna have a pillow fight like you want in a second? Oh, he's coming. Eventually. No, stop walking off. Just wait. Wait here. He's coming, log. Play. Pillify. There you go. And Marie's birthday is tomorrow. Let's <laughs> clean in that all. And then you can go to bed. Uh, you guys can go to bed. I'm going to change their formal outfit before I forget. Uh, what was it before this one? No, it was that one, wasn't it? 
I, I guess it is now. Oh, he didn't need to wear it, but okay. <laughs> uh, same for you. And relax. That one I think you had. We're gonna do I'm not gonna try for a baby because in my opinion I think that it's the woman that needs to want have a baby probably both but i think it's when the woman wants to have a baby is when i will let him try i don't think the man has a say in that he could just be like make me a baby now you know <laughs> uh but so we will do a casual woohoo to consummate the marriage as they say let me go to sleep oh never mind there is a Dirty diaper. I think these are hungry anyway. So. Oh my. You have got to be kidding me, Heather. Have you not learnt your lesson? Oh my god. I just, I don't even want to deal with this right now. What the hell are they gonna do? I'm actually kind of sad that that basically means they're gonna have to move out of here. That diggity down. In Veronaville, I had Roman Sims that woohooed the whole lives. And it only happened to them once. Or even none. And I had this already, like, two days into adulthood on her second child. Heather. Hun. I think she definitely needs to go on birth control after this one because oh my god I don't even know what to do or say right now just comment please what the hell I should do I cannot believe she's pregnant no way please please tell me what to do that's crazy okay well go and get a midnight snack I guess Will you ever learn? This is just insane. You silly, silly girl. You immature person. Irresponsible. Where is Alfred? Get to bed. Okay, and with that out of the way. Oh, why are you up? Oh, he's about to die of starvation. Why? That's weird. Need some more filling foods, don't you? Okay. Well, I, I'm going to leave it there for myself to get back to this mess <laughs> next time. Um... Wow, what a, what a journey. So we now have a Mr. and Mrs. Cassini. We have a Marie Stein and another unborn baby Stein on the way. And Hubert's just chilling, being human, can't even make a friend after working so hard. Uh, bless. 
So, uh, yeah. Next time, we're going to be with the Amor household with Penny Pincher and Julia Amor and her little sister, Elena. I am thinking of turning this into a stream um, and focusing my uploads on on short mod videos um, so I can actually get them out more often because um, videos like this, they get very long and when I'm thinking on the spot, there's a lot of stuff to cut out so it really takes me a long time to edit and get them out so I'm thinking of avoiding like long gameplay videos for my channel but continuing this neighborhood on stream so please let me know what you think of that would you would you watch i'd really love it if you would that would mean a lot uh, let me know what you thought of this round and the scientists and let me know what you're looking forward to what trouble do you think penny is gonna cause do you think she's gonna make any decisions yet uh just a reminder that I am a CD Keys affiliate, so if you fancy grabbing any games or Sims 4 packs for cheaper, if you use my affiliate link there, um, I'll get a small cut without any cost to you. So that's a good passive way to support me. If you'd like to actively support me, you can always consider buying me a coffee or becoming a Patreon or leaving a super thanks on this video and in the meantime please stay in touch I'm about in my discord all the links are in the description so I really hope to hear from you remember to leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next one and I'll see you then bye guys